Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are, and this is Chris, and today I'm doing a podcast, uh, a video and a podcast on the topic of change. Uh, it's broken into uh, three or four videos. I hope you enjoy them all, and uh, please share them with those people that you care about and those people you think would be interested in translating the concept of strategy, structure, culture into personal development. I think it's a brilliant piece of work. I think body, mind, spirit, strategy, structure, culture, and many of the things we talk about are just nature's law repeated over and over again. I hope this is uh, really inspiring for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. G'day. My name's Chris Walker, and today I'm doing a scribble uh, video on the concept of change. What we know from previous conversations is that strategy precedes structure, precedes culture. And if you don't get structure and culture um, to be changing at the same time as strategy, then strategy is just sitting there like, um, like a shag on a rock in a way because it, you need the structure to implement and you need culture to back it. So today I wanna to talk about personal development, which changes the language. A little bit instead of using strategy we use spirit uh, some of you that might be a bit confronting instead of using structure we use mind and instead of using culture we use body so body mind and spirit must change together in order for a human being to evolve correctly or let's say evolve properly in a sustainable way when we change our mind without the body, the body returns to its old habits. When we change our habits, when we don't change our mind, the, 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 the mind returns to its old habits and therefore we get stuck, uh, not really changed at all. We just get introduce a whole lot of new disciplines, which the minute we take away motive, go away. But when we, and when we change, we say, I want a different life and we start changing the spirit, which means I want uh, more spirituality or I want a clearer vision in my life, then we end up uh, changing the strategy of our life, which is spirit, but it's, it's, uh, we're, we're left bereft of the mind being engaged and the body being engaged, so we become more like a theorist and, more, and that person has a lot of uh, ideas and and a lot of fantasies about the future, but just can't quite bring it all together to follow. So spirit leads, and if you're comparing this in any sense to um, uh, any metaphors, if we have a, a horse and a cart, and that cart is being run by the horse, this is my version of a horse, and there's a driver on the, on the cart. If, if the horse is put in charge, that's the body, if the cart is put in charge, that's the mind. So what we really want is the spirit to control the cart, the mind, and the mind to control the body, and then it works as a total unit. And that's why personal change has such a bad reputation, because people only do it in half. So let's have a look at what I've created. It's called the back on track process, back on track it's unique to inner wealth and what it's done is combined body mind spirit into a beautiful process which you can do on a daily power hour or a weekly uh, review or uh, a monthly uh, you know in other words uh, you can do a monthly fast for a day of food you can also do a monthly check-in on yourself as to whether you're on track and here's how it works Mindset and health, that's the body. Environment and work, that's your mind. And psychology, which is self-talk, is the spirit. So I'll go through each of them one by one, just so uh, you can get some clarity on what I mean by body, mind and spirit and why they need to change daily.